My name is Adam Mandel. I own a company called Independent Living Design and we specialize in working with senior citizens and people with disabilities to make their homes uh, safer and more accessible. We've actually worked on this house a couple times. Mrs. Sands has had a couple of incidences where, in which she's uh, injured herself and broke her hip. She was coming in and out of the front of the house so obviously as you can see there's some steps here or one step and we wanted to give her something to hold on to to make it a little safer so we just installed some real basic uh, railing so she has something to grab onto when she went up and down the step. Really there's a movement they call it aging in place and the, and the whole idea is that you know a, a vast majority of senior citizens have been in their homes a long time they love their neighborhood they love their neighbors and this is where they want to be one of the biggest issues that we face um, is getting in and out of bathrooms in most homes particularly older homes they have 24 inch doors to get into bathrooms um, a walker is wider so they cannot leave their walker they cannot bring their walker into the bathroom so what happens to a lot of my clients is they'll leave their walker outside the bathroom because they can't get it through the door and then that's when the fall happens because you know they're grabbing on the counters grabbing on the sink something happens and they fall down so one of the things we did is we widened this bathroom door now it's wide enough that any walker can get in and any wheelchair could get in if it comes to the point where she needs to use that all these falls and slips, a majority of them take place in the bathtub or the shower because obviously it's a wet area, it gets really slippery. You know, a lot of people will grab onto whatever they can, like a shower rod or a towel rack, and those aren't obviously aren't anchored very well. So I want to put in really good grab bars. Getting in and out of the house is really important, obviously, and not just for everyday activities, but I also like to look at it in case of emergencies. I want to make sure that they have an exit they can get out by themselves. I like using garages for ramps because you're protected from the weather. So if we did outside in front of the house, if there's an ice storm or if it's raining, you know, whatever kind of weather incident's happening, it makes it a lot more dangerous and a lot less convenient. A lot of times I'll go into situations where, you know, the church has helped out or the neighbor and they'll have like a five foot ramp here. And it's literally, you know, this kind of angle. And I joke, it's, it's sort of like an evil Knievel ramp. If she wanted to ride a wheelchair and jump over 20 buses, it's an appropriate ramp. But for safely getting in and out of the house in a wheelchair or walker, we definitely need to have this slope. And let's face it, there's way more people than there are retirement communities. So a vast majority of people really are going to stay home. You know, and as our population's aging, this business is just going to get bigger and bigger and there's going to be more demand.